Ugh, bro, I can't take it anymore. What do you mean, bro? You can't take it anymore? I'm just so tired of all this land living stuff. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to the ocean. Wait, you can't do that. You live up here with us. Yeah, sorry, bro. I can feel the waves calling. I'm just gonna go dip my toes in. You'll be back. Wee! I'm free! No way. Whales are one of the most intriguing comeback stories in the animal world. To start this comeback story, we need to go back 55.8 million years to Pakistan, where a wolf-like animal is hunting for fish. This animal is called Pachycetus. Pachycetus is an animal that weighed approximately 100 pounds and was about the same size as a large dog. The teeth suggest it mostly ate fish, but the skeletal structure of the animal is that of a land animal, and it is known to be one of the first ever whales with four functioning limbs. How do we know they're whales? Well, <laughs> how do we know they are whales? Well, whales possess, whales possess a unique ear bone that can be followed back to Pachycetus. Pachycetus also have an ankle bone that is linked to other whale relatives like hippos. That along with its long skull shape and later relatives provide good evidence for whalehood. Which leads me to its future relatives, starting with Ambulocetus. They were about 11 to 12 feet long and may have weighed upwards of 400 pounds. They start to show up 49 million years ago, and this is where you start to see webbed feet and a tail that is much more evolved for swimming. They are believed to have had a harder time walking on land, but they still are believed to have lived on land most of the time. Moving on to an animal called Remingtonocetus, named after Remington Kellogg, a paleontologist who worked on marine biology. Remingtonocetus has a powerful tail, fused scara, and a robust hind, and robust hind limbs. They weighed approximately 430 to almost 1300 pounds and were about 11 feet long. They lived 48.6 to 37.2 million years ago, and they would probably have been great swimmers. Around this time, there were a lot of whales called Protocetus, and there were a lot of genera under that name, like Rondocetus, Artiocetus, Egyptocetus, Tupelocetus, Georgiocetus, just Cetuses, every kind of Cetus. They lived all over the world approximately 48 to 35 million years ago, and these animals probably still gave birth on land, but were still excellent swimmers. They had strong, powerful tails and feet that were well adapted for the water. These all lead to the emergence of some animals that you might start to recognize as a whale, one of which is called Bacillosaurus. Bacillosaurus lived 41 to 33.9 million years ago, and the name means king lizard which is confusing because they are indeed mammals. We know this because of their double-rooted teeth. They were massive with some reaching 70 feet long and they were top predators, eating everything from large fish to sharks and even other marine mammals. That's right, whales, these whales were one of the biggest ops to their own team. One of the whales that may have been on that menu is called Dorudon an animal that resembled dolphins, they lived approximately 40.4 to about 33.9 million years ago, and Dorodon weighed approximately one to two tons and grew to lengths of upwards to 16 feet. They seem to be built for shallow ocean environments and are found in the Pacific Ocean around North America and Northern Africa. A significant change is that the nostrils have now moved to the top of the head, but there are still no signs of echolocation. And those lead to modern whales, which come in two major varieties, the odontoceti, or tooth whales, and the mysticeti, or the baleen whales. There are 77 species of odontoceti, 
with the largest being the sperm whale. This also includes orcas, dolphins, and even the narwhal. They have streamlined bodies with two limbs modified as flippers. And there are 16 species of mysticeti, or the baleen whales, including the humpback, gray fin, and even the largest animal to ever exist, the blue whale. That might be up for debate with the discovery of Perucetus, but I like to say that I live at the same time as the largest animal to ever exist. Plus, have you seen the skeleton? Like, that's all we have. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying that we live at the time with the largest animal until we find the rest of it. Sorry for that tangent. The baleen refers to the teeth, which is a series of plate-like teeth that is used to strain seawater from their food. To end off, I hope I've been able to show you this incredible return back to the sea. And not only did whales return, but they thrived, becoming not only the largest animal of the sea, but of all time. I hope you've all enjoyed this journey. If I got anything wrong, or if there's something you would like me to tackle, leave a like or a comment. It's greatly appreciated. Um, subscribe to me if you want to see more and stay curious. Long live the blue whale!